Have you ever wondered how a single incident can ignite a revolution? This is the essence of The Hate You Give, a heart-wrenching yet empowering novel penned by Angie Thomas. This literary wonder introduces us to Star Carter, a young African-American girl caught in the crossfire of racial injustice and police brutality. Our story unfolds through Star's eyes, as she witnesses a horrifying event that would forever change her life, the fatal shooting of her childhood friend Khalil by a police officer. This tragic incident not only shatters her world, but also forces her to confront the harsh realities of racial inequality that permeate her community. Angie Thomas masterfully weaves a narrative that is as immediate as it is profound, exploring the systemic issues that precipitate such tragic events. The novel is not just a reflection of Starr's personal journey, but also a stark depiction of the societal structures that breed hate and violence. The title, The Hate You Give, is inspired by the profound philosophy of the legendary Tupac Shakur. His concept of thug life, which stands for the hate you give little infants FS everybody, serves as a powerful metaphor for the novel's central theme. This concept frames the narrative, highlighting the cyclical nature of hate and its devastating impact, especially on marginalized communities. Star's journey is not just a poignant coming-of-age tale, but also a call to arms, a plea for justice. As she navigates her dual identities, straddling her predominantly black neighborhood and a predominantly white private school, readers are invited to grapple with themes of cultural assimilation, code switching, and the complexities of living a double life. With every character she crafts, Thomas enriches the narrative tapestry, encapsulating the diversity and richness of black culture. Each voice contributes to our understanding of Star's world, from her family members to her friends and community. In its essence, The Hate You Give is more than a novel. It is a mirror reflecting the harsh realities of our society, a beacon of hope for justice, and a testament to the transformative power of literature. Let us now delve deeper into the world Star Carter inhabits and the issues she confronts. Ever felt torn between two worlds, each demanding its version of you? This is the reality for Star Carter, the protagonist of The Hate You Give. She navigates the tightrope of dual identities, a balancing act that Angie Thomas captures with striking authenticity. Star's life is a tale of two worlds. In one, she is a resident of Garden Heights, a predominantly black neighborhood characterized by camaraderie, culture, but also crime and poverty. In the other, she is a student at Williamson Prep, a predominantly white, affluent private school. Between these worlds, Star is constantly shifting, adjusting, and code switching to meet the expectations of each environment. Code switching, for those unfamiliar, is the practice of altering speech, behavior, and appearance to fit into different cultural contexts. It's a survival strategy, a way to belong, and a means of self-protection. For Star, it's a daily reality. She transforms from Garden Heights Star, who embraces her black culture freely, to Williamson Star, who is careful not to appear too ghetto or confrontational, lest she be labeled the angry black girl. Through Star's experiences, Angie Thomas challenges the notion of cultural assimilation, the pressure to fit into a mold that doesn't quite align with one's true self. Star grapples with this pressure, often feeling like an outsider in both her worlds. Yet, it's through this struggle that she discovers the power of her voice and the importance of authenticity. Star's dual identities also highlight the disparities between her two worlds, the privilege and safety in Williamson versus the systemic oppression and violence in Garden Heights. It's a stark contrast that underscores the societal structures at play and their impact on individuals and communities. Star's journey of self-discovery is a mirror to the complexities of navigating dual identities. It's a testament to the struggles faced by many in marginalized communities and a call for understanding, empathy, and change. Through Star, Angie Thomas brings to the forefront the conversation about identity, race, and the courage it takes to stand up for justice, even when the world seems divided against you. What is a story without its characters? The Hate You Give is brimming with vibrant characters, each playing a pivotal role in shaping Star's perspective and the narrative at large. Let's meet some of them. Firstly, we have Star's parents, Maverick and Lisa Carter. Maverick, a former gang member turned responsible father, instills in Star a strong sense of pride in her black identity. Lisa, a nurse, serves as a beacon of calm and strength, providing a nurturing environment that fosters Star's resilience. Then there's Star's half-brother Seven and her younger brother Sakani. Their interactions bring to life the familial bonds and the shared experiences that define their lives. 
Star's friends from her neighborhood and school, from the fiercely loyal Kenya to the empathetic Chris, add layers to the narrative, reflecting the diversity within the Black community and beyond. Each character, a thread woven into the rich tapestry of Star's world. Can a book serve as a catalyst for change? This question brings us into the heart of our exploration. The impact of The Hate You Give stretches far beyond its pages, reaching into the world and stirring up conversations that are both necessary and long overdue. The Hate You Give has become a cornerstone in the important dialogue about representation in literature. For too long, the stories we've been told have been shaped by a singular voice, often sidelining the experiences of those who exist outside the mainstream. But Angie Thomas's novel disrupts this pattern, presenting a narrative that is deeply rooted in the African-American experience. The book challenges the status quo, reminding us that stories are mirrors that reflect the world. And when these mirrors only reflect a sliver of society, we are all impoverished for it. The hate you give broadens the reflection, allowing a wider range of experiences to be seen, heard, and validated. But it's not just about diversifying the voices in literature. It's also about the power of these voices to prompt introspection and dialogue. The novel doesn't shy away from the hard truths of racial inequality and police brutality, and it forces readers to confront these realities head on. It pushes us to question our own prejudices, our complicity in systemic injustice, and the ways in which we can affect change. The novel also underscores the critical role literature can play in fostering empathy. By immersing us in Star's world, we begin to understand the fear, the anger, and the courage it takes to stand up against systemic injustice. We are reminded that empathy is not just about understanding another's experience, it's about being moved to action by that understanding. The Hate You Give has sparked conversations in classrooms, book clubs, and social media platforms around the globe, triggering a ripple effect that continues to influence the discourse on race, identity, and justice. The Hate You Give is more than just a novel, it's a call for change. It is a testament to the power of literature, not just as a form of entertainment but as a tool for social transformation. It reminds us that every story matters, every voice counts, and that change, though often slow, is always possible. How does a story influence the world outside its pages? This question is at the heart of our exploration of Angie Thomas's The Hate You Give. The novel's themes have far-reaching implications, reaching beyond the confines of its pages and into the real world. It's not just a story about Star Carter, a teenager grappling with the trauma of witnessing her friend's death at the hands of the police. It's a narrative that confronts the systemic issues that lead to racial profiling and police brutality, and it's a call to action for justice. We see the influence of the hate you give in the way it has sparked conversations about these critical issues. It has brought these topics to the forefront of public discourse, forcing us to confront these uncomfortable truths and inspiring us to demand change. The book has become a catalyst for dialogue, prompting discussions about the realities of racial profiling, the prevalence of police brutality, and the ongoing fight for justice. The story has also served as a mirror, reflecting the experiences of those who have been marginalized and silenced. It has given voice to their struggle, allowing their stories to be heard and their experiences validated. By doing so, The Hate You Give has inspired empathy and understanding, proving that literature can be a powerful tool for social change. In addition, the book has influenced the way we perceive identity and culture. It has prompted us to reflect on the complexities of navigating dual identities and the pressures of cultural assimilation. It has shown us the richness of diversity and the importance of representation in literature and media. In conclusion, The Hate You Give is more than just a novel, it's a testament to the power of storytelling, a mirror reflecting our society's flaws, and a rallying cry for justice. The story reminds us that literature can be a powerful tool for change, fostering understanding, empathy, and the dismantling of systems that perpetuate hate. It's a call to action, urging us to challenge the status quo and fight for a more just and equitable society. The Hate You Give is a testament to the power of literature to ignite change, foster understanding, and dismantle systems that perpetuate hate. 